Okay, I'm going to go ahead and call the budget committee to order. We do have a set of minutes for April 6th. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve. Any comments or questions? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aaron, financial report? Yeah, I'm going to, uh, we don't really have a finance report tonight, but for two reasons. One is because it's May the 4th, the trustee just got the books closed, so we haven't had a chance to close ours yet. So um, it will be um, available for you at the county commission meeting as far as the finance report goes. Um, and basically we're here to do budget more than, more than anything else. So um, I don't know when you want to talk about budget. If you want to do amendments first, uh, I didn't. Let's see. Yeah, let's get the amendments out of the way. Sure, order. sure, sure. Your first amendment in your in your packet is for county buildings. Uh, they are uh, requesting ten thousand uh, dollars to assist with the move for judicial commissioners over to the old health department building over here. Specifically, that was for the moving of cameras and other electronic equipment from the Highland Heights Church that they had installed over there. Motion to agree. Got a question about that. Are they going to be moving back? If you build up a new building, uh, that's Mayor's question. So they'll have uh, they'll go back to the jail with everything except for two offices that will be in a multi-level court system. For do they currently not have room? Do they have to move over there at this point in time? They're already there and they had to be because there was no room for them. That's why we did it. Okay. Yes, sir. And then when, and the only reason they'll have room when we move everybody out to the new multi level court system, sheriff moves to the middle, there'll be room there where, they're, where they were um, because uh, juvenile court and then will be moving to the juvenile that's there will be moving there. So they'll go back to kind of where they were, but there's no room for them there now. Okay, because I, I would think it would be kind of important for them to be as close to where the action is. is as possible. It is, and you, and you remember when we, we started building the jail, they had to move the intake up to where they were, and that's why we had to put them over in the, the old church. That's yeah. where they were, and then now that we're going to move the church down, I had to find some work for them to go until everybody clears back out. Okay. So we moved tourism to the old post office and moved them over there, and they're all there now. Okay, there's a motion and a second. Any other comments, questions? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Uh, the next one, uh, Tammy is here. Tammy, do you want to speak to this one or do you want me to? And you can correct me if I'm wrong. Or? Yes, go ahead. Okay. Uh, Tammy and I met the other day on, on this, and she needs to purchase some uh, laptop computers for the election commission. These are the ones that they carry out in the field with them and uh, hog voters in as they come through, which prevents people from being able to come to one poll location and vote and then try to go vote at another one, the electronic system. So um, it's it's very important system. She's been using refurbished computers for this, but she just can't find uh, decent refurbished computers anymore. So she's moving money from her own lines, um, moving money out of other contracted services and maintenance and repair equipment into office equipment to, to purchase some of these uh, laptops. And uh, this is pending approval of the election commission itself. They have not met on this yet, but if you guys pass it, then the election commission will do that. Yes. Okay. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Uh, let's see. The Expo Center is requesting to move money from communications to utilities for uh, money they need for utilities for the rest of the year. Second. Motion and a second. Any questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? And uh, the finance department here, if we are requesting to move money um, out of in-service uh, slash staff development to other contracted services to cover um, shortage in that particular expenditure category. Motion. Sure. So a motion and a second. Any questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Um, Peg Channel, uh, moving money from uh, gasoline, travel, maintenance, repair, and communications into other supplies uh, to finish up uh, network connections. 
Motion to approve. Second. Have a motion and a second to approve. Um, any questions? All in favor say aye. Mm -hmm. Any May opposed? Make a correction to the next one. Uh, the uh, general fund, uh, 101, 39,000, that should be a decrease of 32,000 instead of in, on the increase side. Um, so they're taking, they're asking for money out of fund balance for fuel to get through the remainder of the year. They came once before hoping that was going to be enough, but it turned out not to be. So moved. Second. Have a motion and a second. Any other? questions or comments all in favor say aye, aye. any opposed <clears throat> and veterans is requesting to move uh, 2,000 from their communications line into travel to cover uh, the cost of a conference motion to approve second. have a motion and a second any questions all in favor say aye, aye. aye. any opposed I have one more budget amendment that I passed out separate <laughs> my apologies um, the Ag Center is requesting money from their uh, fund balance uh, to put money into other contracted services fuel uh, parking uh, trustees commission and uh, internet second have a motion and a second. Any questions? Comments? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? And the next thing that I have <coughs> is uh, surplus items from uh, WEMA. Okay. Oh, is there a second one back there? I'm sorry. They, yeah, handed, they handed it to me right before I walked in here. Oh, I'm they sorry. Two. They sure did. Um, oh. What this has to do is we passed a resolution um, way back when that uh, basically made the marketing director at the Expo Center, and I don't remember Donna's title, <coughs> I didn't want to refer to anybody by name, but I'll just use her first name, mm -hmm. that they would make the same. Uh, that did not happen at the conclusion of the pay study, so we are going back to what our resolution was that those two should make the same, and that's what we're, that's what we're asking for here. So was it was it approved once before? There was a resolution, probably pre-pay study, that said those two positions will make the same. Okay, but and it was voted on. And, and it was voted on. on. Now, when we when the pay study was logged into the budget, it was logged in at what the pay study amount said for the position that was not quite as high as the other one even though we have a resolution that says they should be equal. So we cler clerically, we put it in at the lower amount, but we have a resolution saying it's supposed to be the same. Okay. It's been wrong for a year. Well, guess what? We would have run out of money if we, had, okay. if we didn't do this. Yeah. Okay. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. A motion and a second to approve. I think we will have a choice. All in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? Uh, and then surplus items. Motion approved. Second. Have a motion and a second to approve surplus. Any questions? All in favor say aye. Aye. Okay. Lisa, you want to move? Do these two? First is 2023-12. The first is moving um, money from bus drivers, utilities, and to other charges in service staff development in our 141 fund uh, transportation. Second one is uh, IDA CCIS budget. Uh, they have um, edited their budget moving out of substitute teacher line items and moving in into instructional supplies, other supplies and materials, and in-service staff development. 
The next one is our Family Resource Center revenue that they've received and the corresponding expenditure line item that will be paid from that is highlighted with the revenue. The next one is we're moving funds that we had designated last year for a math textbook purchase. We're moving that from our designated fund balance to our textbook line item. The next one is our extended schools. Um, they are moving money from equipment machinery into others' charges, food supplies, from consultants, in-service staff development into other supplies and materials. This is our TLC and our Kids Club. The next one is also extended school. They are doing capital improvement projects for their TLC, uh, furniture, fixtures, equipment, and supplies, and moving that from their fund balance. And then the last one is insurance recovery funds that we've received and we're allocating get those against the expenditure line item that the repair was made from in our 141 fund. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. Is there a motion and a second? Any questions? All in favor say aye. aye. Any aye. opposed? Okay. <coughs> this next one, 2023 13 is our money that has been allocated to us for our summer school budget. We just have received those allocations in the last two weeks. We're recording the revenue line item and also the expenditure line item that was coming from. This is our summer learning camp budget and our summer learning transportation budget. So I have a motion and a second to approve. Any questions or comments? All in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? Okay. So, Aaron, you want to go back to Sure. Um, what we've given you tonight, and I will, I will get the rest of them in your hands as soon as possible, but we have given you all the operating funds, which is uh, the General Fund 101, uh, the Ag Center and Expo Center is Fund 124. Uh, Highway Public Works is 131. And the Landfill and Convenience Center is 207. Uh, those are basically the, the uh, what we've handed you tonight. These are not, uh, most of you are familiar with this, these are not flat status quo budgets. These already contain the elected officials increases and the longevity increases. So for those of you who have not heard, uh, the mandated raise from the state this year for elected officials is 5%, 4% for judges, um, and then of course your regular longevity and so on. Um, the budget in 101, the first one you have, actually went down, uh, but that's because we had uh, 27 pay periods uh, for the courthouse and others in fiscal year 23. So uh, when you pull out the money in there for that extra pay period, um, it actually, even with these other increases, that budget actually goes down a little bit. So um, most of the other ones that you look at, you're gonna see a, uh, an increase of some kind due to the, the factors that I've already explained. Um, though there may be, like I say, I will be looking at these uh, continually, just like you guys will over the next over the next few weeks. So uh, I I was in this one today until my eyes crossed. Um, needs list, you have a needs list. Um, I guess the important thing is we always divide this up between recurring and non-recurring. Um, if you flip back here to, and we'll go, we'll go through this in detail, but this is really just for you guys to take and, and uh, look at yourselves right now. But the Recurring needs that we've been that have been requested requested to this point are a little over 3.2 million, uh, with non-recurring uh, one-time expenditures of uh, additional 1.6 million. What's been requested? Yeah. Um, 
preliminary measures on growth just in in general terms um, you know strong very very similar to last year in terms of growth number from a general fund perspective you're looking at having about uh, 2.8 million in growth that will be allocated to the general fund uh, of course schools will get their share in, including LSSD and the other other funds that receive a share of the property tax rate will get a allocated piece as well but about 2.8 for the general fund That's all that I really wanted to talk to you about tonight. I will, I will still be, like I say, I will still be working on these. It's a, it's a, it doesn't seem like a short turnaround time, but it is a short turnaround time. So if I find anything, I will let you know. So it's living and breathing, huh? Yeah, <laughs> it is. And if you find anything, have any questions, please let me know. Be, be more than happy. What was the amount that's coming from the state for uh, SRO? I've heard two or three numbers, but they're all pretty close. Uh, so I've heard 2.1 million, I've heard 2.2 million, I've heard 2.12 million, I've heard 2.3 million. So uh, I'm pretty confident in two million. I'm waiting on a letter. We'll, we'll stick with 2.1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm waiting on a letter that basically spells it out in detail for us. I do understand that this will be recurring dollars. Uh, for anybody who does not know, this is the state is given basically $75,000 per school uh, to fund <coughs> SROs. You guys have been funding SROs for several years, going all the way back to Sandy Hook. Uh, right after Sandy Hook, you guys stepped up and funded SROs in every school in the county. So that money now becomes available um, to be spent in other places. Mm. Or not, as the case may or be. Not. Okay, is there any any questions that needs to be asked at this point in time? Do we know do you know enough to ask a question? No. <laughs> Not today. That, wait, that sure comment, that money that the there just said might be freed up. Did everybody need to keep in mind that the sheriff's gonna need some janitors, work out people and time to go wrong for that day. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Mayor, looking at the calendar, I'm, I meant to bring what you passed out or sent us. Um, when, what is the magic date of when we're supposed to try to figure out where the, yeah. Where the growth money is going. Gotcha. So you've got your stuff tonight to look at. Everybody can look at it, of course, and for the budget committee, it, they've got the chance of all of next week and Friday to look over that. County Commission meetings Monday night. Then on the 16th, Aaron will have half of the people that needs, uh, that have needs, to come in and, and present before you and explain why they need what they need. The other half will be on the 17th. So you'll hear those needs at that time. Then on the 25th, education will come with a with a joint work with a joint committee meeting of budget and education together and we'll hear them present uh, what they need and then we'll come back on the 30th uh, at six o'clock in here and grant uh, the needs and if we need to come on the 31st we'll come on the 31st but that's kind of the that's kind of it. just out of curiosity what not that not that it matters since we're going to meet to make those decisions until <coughs> the 25th, but why, why isn't the school board required to submit their stuff when everybody else does? I think, I, I think they have it. They're working on their stuff now. We just set aside a c complete day for them because their budget's so large for y'all to hear. They could come on the 16th or 17th. They just, a lot of times they just, they have to, yeah. it's a larger budget for y'all. Oh, I just put the paper part of it. Oh, well, the paper part? Yeah. Yeah. I think their budget goes through a, a slightly different process. And, and what I mean by that is, is they get, 
growth money per se, and for, it used to be BEP, now it's TISA dollars, you're very mm -hmm. familiar with the system. They have an elected board uh, that gets a say in how that money gets spent, where it gets allocated, so they have a whole extra level of budget preparation and approval that they have to go through uh, before they get to us and then whether or not they ask us for anything or we grant them anything you know so uh, they almost have to go through the process we have to go through passing the budget and the Commission going through their own yeah. board yeah. okay well, I and, I, and I really th back that up too I think uh, that's just where I put them when we sit down and try to do the thing I, I get the our group done and then put them last because that's our biggest part of our budget so that you'll know whatever else is out there. Of course they get their growth money so that that's already figured in but I just kind of I do that last night. We could put them earlier I just never done. Well, no I just I was just curious I just wonder if there's a reason. Gotcha. I, I was asked a question the other day and I couldn't answer it. Um, I know you can. Uh, Lebanon Special School District is there a is there a separate tax in that area that goes to Lebanon Special School District that does not come obviously to Wilson County Schools. Correct. Who who approves that? The county, the city commission? Or? The legislative body. So they have the legislature says and sets the rate of what they can have and then their board decides if they want to use all their capacity or not. Mr. Kurt's gone. Yeah. So it, it is uh, yeah, in other words the legislature uh, says hey you could have 45 cents on the hundred and they could decide they only need 39 and if they decide they only have 39 next year if they want to go to 44 they could if they go above that cap they have to go back to the legislature and ask for permission to go above it. Okay. I, I told them wrong. Sorry. <laughs> it, and it's about, it, it, you, about when I was there it was out of a 26 million dollar budget that amount of tax left of constituted about a million dollars. It's not a lot of money, but I mean, compared to the whole total budget. Yeah. Okay. Um, Mayor, do you have anything else you want to share? No, I think we just need to accept these tonight. We'll accept the budgets tonight, accept the needs list. We just accept them. We're not granting nothing. We just okay. accept them, and that's all we have to do during this meeting here. Is there a motion to accept everything that was handed to us tonight? So moved. Second. Have a motion and a second. Any questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Anything else? Anybody have anything they want to share or ask? Just, uh, just a quick comment. Uh, today is nice on a day of prayer and I know the mayor's fixing to participate they ended up at the Capitol Theater at 7, so if you want to stop by and join in the Wilson County Day of Prayer, I, I think the nation needs it. Thank you, Mr. Fields. One other motion? So